Hello everyone. This should probably be a quick video. <clears throat> Basically, I bought one of these on the weekend of the pin show to kind of store some of my TNs, um, my blank inserts, because I've collected a lot that I haven't yet used over the years. Um, this is the Proper Travelers Company one. And I don't remember how much this cost. I'll put it up on the screen. But basically, I bought one, decided I wanted another, and it was sold out everywhere. And I was making an order at AliExpress anyways to buy my deli glue, which if you watch all my videos, <laughs> you've probably heard me go on and on and on about. But if you don't, let me see if I can find it. It's over here. It's this glue. It's this glue that will glue anything to anything, pretty much, in a, in glue stick form. Um, so I needed some more. Because if, if I'm just down to two refills, I, I get really nervous. I need more. So I thought, I'll try the ones that are on AliExpress. That are these, like, plasticky ones. Um... They came without the things inside. So this is what it looks like inside this one as well. You've got these kinds of little metal things that you put the traveler's notebooks around. These weren't attached. So I had to kind of bend them and stick them in. And then there's this, I don't know whether you can see this, but this is all just like plastic stuck to it which you know I can get off if I cared to spend the time to do it <laughs> but I don't um it had it comes with these so you can keep your thing closed similar to a traveler's notebook and there was other colors that came with both of them so brown and I have these little metal things, and I didn't realize how you put them together. And so now I know. <laughs> and so now I'm going to use mine. I've been doing it all wrong. Uh, I've been doing, like, one side into one of these, and the other side into another one of these, and then I had two of them. But look, they've got both sides going in, and then they pinch it like that. That makes much more sense. And now I know. Um... So, it looks like this one has one, two, three, four, five for those rods. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six rods. The spine is exactly the same size. The other reason why I wanted to get this is because I... Um, so I got the passport size as well. They don't come in pocket size anywhere. And I have some kind of notebooks, the kind that you can, maybe I'll, maybe I'll insert a picture of those notebooks or a little clip of those notebooks. Uh, it's kind of the same. They're made out of, the covers are made out of the same material as this. And I thought I could make this for pocket size as well. Because I've got pocket size TNs and basically here's the situation I don't need all these covers just to hold unused notebooks so I'm gonna start selling a couple giving a couple away paring it down and storing all the blanks in these cheapy things so that is my plan I also have, like not even in those, a basket full of inserts. So I might have to get more. Because I think, yeah, just with this chunk, that'll fill that one up. And I still have more. So I think I will... I'm on a no spend except if it helps me organize and if it helps me sell things. So 
I will be getting more of this size and I'm not sure about probably more of the TN sides and then I'm going to try and make this type of thing just a little bit taller and then I'll punch holes and just string it with elastic for the uh, pocket size because nobody makes it pocket size it's all passport or you know just standard travelers company sizes so I won't be able to do this but I will be able to probably you know make something something that will work similar to it and then these can all go on a bookshelf and stop taking up room on my desk so that is pretty much kind of what this is I mean I tend to if I'm going to put these in here so this one's still in its plastic I'm trying to find one that's actually open that's a traveler's company one oh come on I know I've got something aha so I tend to take the outside packet and I think this one I've cut in half and put that in here so I know what it is so if for some reason I fall in love with this insert I know what the insert is and then I glue that bit into the back um, so I will be doing that what did I do with this one I think with these kind so that's a B-side and rarities and this one I think I also split in half and then just made a cover for the other half of it out of that so I know what it is um, so I could have it in more books but I'm trying not to have more books <laughs> so I won't be doing that anymore but yeah I just kind of put whatever the label is on the outside of the plastic like this I would cut this out I would use the deli glue because the plastic is still on the back of this you can't get it apart so I just cut it out with the plastic and all and then I stick it on there with the deli glue and then I know yeah I know and then I stick this on the inside and then I know what it is and I can stick them all in here in these kinds of things and I'll do that with uh, some more of my TN size in this one and so I think I probably need one more of these one or two more of these I'm going to count and figure it out and get those ordered so that you know this this project of organizing all this stuff and selling off stuff I'm in purge mode <laughs> is a uh, is done all right and that you know that's that if you haven't seen these before maybe I'll just stick one in here so you just separate out one of these things or you try to if you can see what you're doing seriously I cannot see what I'm doing and then just slide that underneath grab another one which I just had here's like some I don't know where these craft paper ones came from but I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen um, there's a lady named Laura who did her uh, inktober in something like this and she just used black and like a gel pen and it is gorgeous and I was gonna get rid of these and now I won't because I love what she did I love that I'm trying to demonstrate this. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I don't tend to like how thick these notebooks come. So almost always I uh, split them in two. What the heck is going on with this? I'm ruining it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you just keep putting them in. This one, I think it's just too fat and maybe slightly too tall. No, no, fits. I mean, these ones are really fat. See how thick these things are? <laughs> and this, I think, let's see what this is. This is lightweight paper. So this is Tomoe River paper. And look at all that Tomoe River paper. And the way I journal, that would get like that fat. Um, it's too much paper so I would probably chop that in half before I started using it um, Wow this was just all super random but I thought I would show you kind of the difference between these two this doesn't have a closure I mean you could just put an elastic around it I guess um, 
I like that these have this closure. And I like that they gave you extra ones to use for other things. That's it. That's it for this video. This is, you know, Traveler's Notebook insert organization. All right. Bye. So these kinds of display books with the plastic in them. This one's a little bit too flimsy. But I have a piece of a tougher one. And I think I could make one out of this. Maybe I'll add that to the end of this video. All right. Bye. Okay. So I screwed up this first one. I made it too, too narrow. It will still fit. Where the heck did I put the thing? It'll still fit a field notes, but I had to make the spine really narrow. So it's only going to fit like one or two, maybe three max. So started over we're going with bright purple and basically what I did was I laid this on here figured out how wide it was and then I kind of put washi tape where I'm supposed to score each side so I'm gonna flip this around there's like liquid all over here um and score the sides and hope that I get it right this time. Oh, this looks better already. Okay. This one, I think, might be thicker. And it's turning an alarming shade of white where I'm creasing it. <laughs> but I don't think it's going to break. All right, but it's still, yeah, I guess that's kind of even. I mean, this is like, not one decrease, but I'm, it's gonna. I am bound to determine. All right. Yay! That's perfect enough. <laughs> so I'm going to take my handy dandy corner rounder. And then this was just a folder cover for those slip pockets. Um, I moved everything that was in this one into the cheap flappy one. Okay, so now I just have to figure out how wide is this center? Four centimeters. So where's my ruler? This is kind of my trick to make sure. Let's see. Where did I put the book now? What's over here? Okay. I need to find something that's about half this width. Do I see anything? Do I see anything straight? <laughs> All right, a pencil. So I'm going to move this so that it's kind of as evenly across four as I possibly can. And on your arc. Here. Right 
in here. And that is not easy at all. Okay. I can't even see it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to sit down. I'm just going to eyeball this other side. Who has time for laying a pencil down when that didn't even work? Nice. I do better when I eyeball. Okay. And then... This is 15 and a half, seven and three quarters, or seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. 14, no. All right, I've decided I'm eyeballing this too. Math is just not my strong suit. <laughs> All right, now we have this monster. I'm going to make a template to punch through. Oh my gosh, I spilled all over the place over here. That's where all the water is coming from. Alrighty then. I'm going to clean that up real quick before it ruins the whole world it's like inky water and it's going under my mat and it's on my all right actually no it isn't going under my mat okay never mind template really wish I could see better be good enough. I have no idea where my elastic is or do I lie? Yeah, this one, because of the dark color, it's just casting shadows no matter what angle I put it at. All right, I'm going to get my headlamp and throw everything on the floor. You would laugh to see how often I wear this headlamp. <laughs> I wear this headlamp for everything. Close enough. Close enough. All right. I need to also I'm gonna clip that. Badly, apparently. Move this to the bigger hole. Punch. 
You guys don't really need to see this, right? Now round that in a minute. And then I need to go back to this smaller one. There it looks good. Use that extra one, which is now on the floor. Urgh. Yeah. All right, so that's it so far. I need to find the elastics string there. That's probably going to happen tomorrow because, yep, I'm out of time. <laughs> All right. I'll string this tomorrow and put some books in it. Bye. Hello. It is the next day. I am back. I think I'm going to do three, uh, three holes. But I think I am just loosey goosing this because honestly, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's straight, nobody's gonna see this. Oh, except for everybody who watches my video, but you know, you know what I mean. It doesn't have to be gorgeous. And then I have to remember <laughs> how to do the elastic. Should I match? Why not? I could do a bright color instead. <laughs> just be like really crazy. No, let's just match. We could do bright colors later. Where's the end? I can never find ends of things. Which has been really fun trying to start knitting and crocheting again. And I can never find the end because I can't see. Um, where the hell is it? There should be two of them. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> You guys are all like, the end is right there. The end is right there. All right, so. Let me see. I think we come in through the. Go in through the middle. Go down. Go in one of the sides. It's been so long since I've done this. <laughs> Go through another side. Go back in the middle. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm doing it right. Pull these a little bit tighter. Pull some of this. I need some more. And then, oh, back down. Wait, <laughs> now I'm lost. Uh... 
Oh, I know it. I'm supposed to. This end goes in here and twists and makes a giant mess. And then goes, I think I cut too much off. <laughs> and then goes out there. Well, I hope you guys aren't trying to follow me on how to string a thing, Bob. And this super long end goes back in the middle. Now I've got like four strings. This thing is slippery. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. It's slippery and one side of the elastic is too long to work with. But I did this to myself. Alright, good enough. All right, and then, where's my scissors? Here they are. I'm just gonna kind of round this a little bit and this won't be perfect either. But rounding it some will keep it from snagging. That is not very rounded. Oh my gosh. Okay. I might sand it a little bit later. Since I can't see well enough to round it well. Good enough again. All right, so that's what it looks like. Let's stick some things in there. Where is it? <laughs> Just had it. All right, let me grab. These are the ones that have the pocket size ones in them. I'm just gonna leave that in there. Field notes. And there's the other field notes. Yay, I can see them now. All right. That is a writing board I made myself. Just a laminated piece of leftover cardstock because I'm cheap. So I think okay, so that's three, but I'm wondering because I, th I think since I made it exactly the same spine width that I should be able to Let's see, what do I have left in this? Okay, where's the ends that I cut? I 
that might be too small. Nope, looks like it's going to stretch just fine. Still, yep, yep, yep. All right. Let's see. What else have I got? I'm going to keep this one. I bought this one off of Simone, like, a bunch of years ago. But just for the sake of being able to load things in, this is a Muji high quality paper that works in fountain pens. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five. I think, I think five is, uh, should I try sixth? Just to see if it works. This is one of the sticker because I've got a A4 thing ream of sticker release paper so sometimes I just make my own yeah okay six okay so I did not intend to do this <laughs> at this point but then once I started I couldn't stop so we've got the passport size that came from AliExpress we've got the DIY that came from <laughs> a pound land uh, notebook cover. So I think instead of buying more of these, I'll just make another one of this size. I wish I had the clear, but I don't. I might hit the library. Maybe I'll steal one of those and replace it with one that is a floppier version. Um, yeah, so that's that's that video that I didn't intend to do. Speaking of not intending to do, let me show you what I did. So I have this monster cutter, right? It's like an industrial cutter, I think it's called. Anyways, once I cut one thing, I lose my mind and cut all of my uh, Amazon, all 40 of my Amazon <laughs> envelopes. And I use these to make um, kind of sketchbooky things and notebooks and stuff with a uh, Coptic binding. But yeah, I just kept going. I couldn't stop. That's it. That's all for this video. Um, hopefully it wasn't too chaotic. See you later.